What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ Player Profiles. Today we're going to focus in on Los Angeles Kings winger Dwight King, one of the most fitting names in hockey, if you ask me. Jared Knight, Bruins prospect, playing for the London Knights is just as cool of a name indicative of the team he plays for, but I digress. Uh, fourth round pick back in 2007, you know, big kid at 6'3 and uh, 225 pounds. You know, Lethbridge Hurricane of the Western Hockey League product. They've you know, sent some pretty good guys to the pros. Um, you know, through the years, they haven't been around too long, but in their short time in the Western Hockey League, was um, up there for four four years and seven games. You know, he made his Western Hockey League debut when he was 15 back in 2005, and played uh, the next four years up there. Uh, in 2009, made his pro debut with the Ontario Reign of the East Coast League, and then uh, was with the Manchester Monarchs for uh, 52 games that year. <coughs> and then last year, played 72 games with the Monarchs, had 52 points, and. Uh, Got in six games with the Kings, and uh, this year I had 29 points, 50 games with the Monarchs, and then 27 in 27 games with the, with the Kings had 14 points. So you know he definitely uh, stepped it up in 11 playoff games. There's four goals, becoming the first LA Kings rookie to have four goals in the playoffs since 1993. A little fun fact for you, but uh, you know I like what he what he brings you. He's a uh, he's a product project power forward. Say that three times fast. You know, he's got the raw skill, the raw size. It's just a matter of putting it all together and becoming a, a full and complete power forward, a la Milan Lucic. I think, um, you know, look at his numbers this year, playing throughout the lineup. You know, he's in the bottom six. He played Richards a little bit. You know, he's bounced up and down. And uh, you look at what they have in terms of hockey, in terms of good hockey players that can play physical, physical and provide offense. You look at Dustin Brown, Mike Richards, uh, you know, Clifford, guys like that. He fits right into that mix with the, with this team. You know, he'll hit you hard, and he, um, you know, can can score. I think you're looking at a 20 goal, 50 point guy when he reaches his prime, <laughs> which uh, isn't too far off, if you ask me. You know, he's uh, still 22, won't turn 23 till uh, July, so he's you know, still young, and uh, you know, still growing. Obviously, in terms of you know, physical, physically, even though I think he's physically growing at 225 pounds, six foot three. <clears throat> and in terms of his, the nuances of playing, you know, professional hockey on a night in, night out basis, you know, the playing against men is a far cry from playing against, you know, being able to physically dominate men is a far cry from being able to physically dominate kids and juniors. But I mean, that'll come with time. Um, and you know, I think he really, the, his penalty minutes aren't high, especially indicative of a power forward. But I think it's a sign of discipline. I think he understands that, you know, if you want to score, you can't be in the box. And, uh, you know, when you're, on a, when you're a young kid on a veteran team, understanding that's a big thing in order to see ice time critical situations. And the fact that you understand that at 22 years old is, is impressive. But uh, hopefully, like I said, L.A. is two wins away from the, fi the Cup Finals, six wins away from the Stanley Cup. And, uh, you know, if he keeps producing at this rate in terms of the offense and his uh, physicality, I don't see L.A. losing. Uh, I, th I think L.A. will win the Stanley Cup. Uh, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Play a profile on LA Kings winger uh, Dwight King. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.